Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to make an announcement that Deep Junk Garage is going to be doing a build-off with the theme of shop trucks, and Hanson Speed Shop is going to be participating in that. And that's going to be happening on September 1st, so look forward to that. Thanks for watching, and uh, let's get to the video. Hi guys, it's Jesse from Hanson Speed Shop. And today we're looking at a Hot Wheels 1970 Roadrunner. This one in particular was um, one of the 50th anniversary cars, and I never really liked this version of the car. Um, it kind of comes from Hot Wheels in a satin blue um, with some Hot Wheels graphics on it, and uh, not my favorite wheels from Hot Wheels. They're, they're 50th anniversary wheels, which are pretty ugly. Um... So let's take a look at what I decided to build this car into. All right, here it is. Um, before I start talking about the car, I'm going to give you a little bit of history on the car that you've seen at the beginning of the video, which was the inspiration for this build. In the fall of 2009, Hot Rod Magazine did an article on street machines and street freaks of the late 70s and early 80s and in that article they showed pictures of some of the most famous or well-known um, street machines that were featured in hot rod or car craft magazine during that time period and one of the cars that was shown in that article was a black GTX with gold centerline wheels, which you've seen at the beginning of the video. And that car always stood out to me just because um, it kind of looked like something that um, resembled some of the cars of today um, in what we would call a kind of a murdered outlook um, to an extent uh, because the car was black, had black bumpers, black interior. Um, which was kind of, just a lot of black on a car, which is kind of uncommon um, at that time. But what I also thought was cool about it um, was the all the gold accents on the car. The gold trim, the gold wheels, um, the gold around the headlights and turn signals, the door handles. Um, in the late 70s, that was kind of the in thing um, was to have black and, and gold, whether it was on a motorcycle, car, uh, especially like on a Trans Am. Um, so that car always just kind of stood out to me as being different, especially not seeing that kind of a look on a Mopar. Um, the, the real car is a late 60s, like 68, 69 GTX, um, which Hot Wheels does not make. So the closest was this 70 Roadrunner, which essentially is the same body style. So what I did to this car to make it kind of resemble the car that I seen in the magazine was we painted the body uh, gloss black. And then I added um, the smooth dished um, skinny front wheels to the front of the car and then since Hot Wheels doesn't really make a re another wheel and a wider width that um, is the same as those I just went with the basic five spokes in the back the wide ones and um, painted the whole rim gold to kind of match the front now on these road runners they all come from Hot Wheels with a narrow front and rear wheel. Um, so it was a little bit of a job to get those bigger tires to fit in the back. And that was accomplished by jacking the car up a little bit in the back. But I think uh, it just looks so much better with the wider back tires. Um, same diameter, just a lot wider. And uh, I think it would look better if they just came that way from Hot Wheels. But um, And then the front and rear bumpers were painted gloss black. Um, the trim around the grill and around the headlights was painted gold. The door handles were painted gold. Looking at the back of the car, you can kind of see the tire difference, giving it that perfect 
70s street machine look um, around the the uh, taillights and uh, door lock is also painted gold um, this car just turned out really cool it's got that cool tough uh, late 70s street machine feel which is perfect um, looking at the bottom of the car um, what we did here is I painted the oil pan gold and the exhaust tips gold and the diff cover gold. So that is my late 70s Street Machine Roadrunner. Uh, it turned out pretty cool. I'm happy with it. If you think it's cool, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like all the cars we've been doing or any of the stuff we've been doing here at Hanson Speed Shop, hit that subscribe button because there's definitely more cool stuff to come. You're not going to want to miss out. And as always, get out, work on your own projects, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.